Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a um, big thrift haul. Um, it just happens to be, um, sorry my dog is like scratching the door. Um, it just happens to be from Savers and um, all the stuff I got was 50% off. It was 50% off clothes, bed and bath, and um, shoes. But the other stuff wasn't on sale, but I just wanted clothes. Um, I don't go shopping often. Um, just because I don't have a whole lot of extra money to throw around, but I just think that like when you get thrift prices 50% off, that's when I go a little crazy. Um, so I wanted to show y'all what everything I got today. And I'm excited to show you. I hope you like it. Um, I did do like a try on video for my last haul and um, I just felt like I didn't want to try everything on for you. Um, I did try everything on in store and I know it looks good on me. So, um, I, if you do go shopping at thrift stores, I would definitely recommend trying stuff on because sometimes you find stuff, um, that doesn't look good or, um, you know, you just notice something wrong with it while you're trying it on. But anyway, um, I'm going to just get right on into the video. Okay. So the first item I got is this dress. It's, um, I don't have anything like this and I just thought it was so unique. This, this isn't, this is kind of like hip bohemian hippie to me. And it's just like got really beautiful detailing at the the top and then this is like such a nice it's like um, the material of like uh, long underwear and then the bottom is so pretty it's like got all these patterns and shiny at the bottom and my cousin said she had a dress just like this she said it was like $60 but this one was $10 and then I got it 50% um, off so it's $5 so I'm very happy with that purchase and it's just, it has a bow for the back and it's like, um, got this little elastic, which I really appreciate because I have larger boobs and it just won't fit in a lot of stuff. So, um, that makes it like able to stretch out to fit me. So that's wonderful. But anyway, I'll try not to mention that again. And so the next thing I got was this shirt. It, the tag is off of it, but, um, it's just a simple black. Um, it is the same material as like long underwear, like the other thing, like the middle. And I just got this, I thought it'd be cute in the summer to go with like jean shorts, um, like light wash jean shorts or yeah, I just think it's really cute or it'll be even good in like the fall and winter to pair under a cardigan. So I was really happy with this purchase and after the discount, it ended up being, um, 125 and I just think that's an awesome deal because this is so trendy, like, I wish it had the tag on it so I could tell what brand it was. Oh, maybe in the, it might say in the, like, under the wash tag. Nope, it doesn't say. But, um, I'm just so very happy I found this. And can you imagine a dollar twenty-five for this? This is so versatile. So, I'm very excited about that. And then next I got this. Um, this is actually a Levi's, um, graphic tee. Um, it just says Levi Strauss. And then, I don't know what this says at the bottom. L, uh, company, oh, Levi Strauss and Company, Two Horse Brand, okay, that's what it says, um, in case you're wondering, and it's just, like, the perfect graffiti, and look how perfectly washed out, this is, like, your ideal graphic tee, and I'm so excited to wear it, I think it's gonna look awesome with, like, jean shorts, that's what I got it for, and, um, most of these things I got, um, were summer things, because, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm about to graduate college, so I haven't really gone shopping a whole lot while I was in college, just because I didn't have money to, and so, like, a lot of the things that I've worn throughout college, I've had since high school and junior high, sorry, my hair's doing some weird things, um, I've had since high school and junior high, so I'm just, like, really over it, so I am trying to buy, uh, I don't know what is going on, I'm trying to buy things that are, um, thrifted, so that, not, on, not only because, um, that's kind of what I've always done and it's just like more um, affordable but it's also very much more sustainable than buying new clothes so I really recommend even if you can afford to buy new clothes maybe um, try to thrift clothes if you can um, just because it's better for the environment <laughs> and the next thing I got was this um, Arkansas uh, t-shirt and well it's Arkansas Razorbacks that's like um, University of Arkansas their mascot is Razorback and so it's just a plain, simple white shirt, or I mean, not t-shirt, I meant to say. It's from um, Retro Brand, 
and um, it is super nice. It has the original tag on it, and the original tag is uh, $30, and it has the like official seal, and then um, I got it for 50% off the price, so I got it for um, just about $5, um, a little bit less, so I'm really excited about this, and I thought I didn't go to the University of Arkansas. I actually went to school in Oklahoma for um, undergrad, and so... But, I mean, I, I grew up, I was born and raised in Arkansas, and I will be there for, like, the next year. So, I thought it wouldn't look weird if I was wearing an Arkansas shirt, just because I am a native. Um, next thing I got, I never heard of this brand, um, but this is a Quicksilver uh, t-shirt. And I just thought it was so cute. Like, I love the bright colors. I, if you, ha if you haven't noticed, I am really into grays and neutrals. This is actually St. Patrick's Day when I'm filming this, so that's why I'm wearing a green, but I do love the shirt, but, like, I, like, I would say my normal go-to is gray. I love gray things, and I wear them a lot, but I just thought, like, how cute is this with jean shorts in the summer, and then with, like, chacos? Like, it just makes you look like a cool hipster, um... And I looked up the brand to, like, make sure there weren't, wasn't anything, like, bad associated with the brand. And I couldn't find anything bad. But, um, the church, norm, like, t-shirts like this normally sell for, like, 30 And I got it for $4. So, I was really happy with that. If you want to see the graphic again. I know that's not everyone's taste, but I don't have anything like that. And I just was excited about it. Um, I have been needing new leggings because, um, like I said, I've had a lot of my clothes since high school. Um, I did get some new leggings on my last thrift haul. It's on my channel. I can link it down below. Um, and in that video, if you're interested in seeing try on, I tried those on. Uh, but I have lost some weight um, within the last couple months, which I'm really happy about. And um, that doesn't make a difference with leggings necessarily. But I just mentioned it because I probably look a little different in that video versus this video. But anyway, um, so this is... Th these are some Adidas um, Capri leggings, and I think these are really nice. I can wear them, you know, honestly year-round pretty much, but I just am always looking for some new leggings, and I got these after the sale for $4, so $4 for Adidas leggings, and if you look, these are literally, like, so new looking, like, that's how I can, I don't like to buy things that look too worn, I like to buy things in thrift shops that look pretty new. And you can tell by the, the inner part that it's, like, barely been worn at all, if at all. So that's exciting. And then I bought some, um, in my last, sorry, I just, like, adjusted the, whatever. Um, in my last thrift haul, um, I got some pajama pants, and I just fell so in love with them that I needed more. I am normally a nightgown person, but I found, like, for the fall and winter, it's really nice to have, um, really soft, long pants. And, um, I do have some night shirts, so I didn't really need any of those, but these are from, um, Liz Claiborne, and they're a medium. I don't know why I'm, I haven't been saying the sizes. Some of them don't have sizes, but it's just, like, a nice, like, it's a womanly pattern, but, like, honestly, I do sometimes like to dress mature. I used to, it's kind of funny, like, in high school, I used to dress like a grandma, but I guess I, now that I've lost some weight, I'm gonna try to um, start wearing things a little more my age, um, because I, I didn't used to feel, like, more, I didn't used to feel comfortable, like, wearing super tight shirts or crop tops, but now I feel like, um, by the time summer comes around, I'll be a lot more confident with my body, and I'll be able to do that, so that's really exciting, but, yeah, I don't know what that had to do with pajamas, but, um, this was two fifty, so I got it for, uh, 125 and they're so soft, and, I'm very excited about those. Um, these are some Time and True jeans, or, or they're capris, but I got, if you don't know, Time and True is with, like, the brand, that Walmart brand or whatever, um, and these were three fifty, so I got them for, gosh, that's, this is so much math to do in my head, uh, one seventy five, I believe, I'm pretty sure, and, um, they're, I tried them on, they look cute as capris, but honestly, I got them because I am obsessed with the embroidery. Like, I have been wanting an embroidered pair of jeans for so long, and um, all the ones that I found are very expensive, and just, like, I don't want to pay for them. So, what I'm going to do with these is cut them off and use them as shorts. Um, just like, oh gosh. Sorry. Let me get that lighting fixed. Okay, there we go. 
Um, I'm gonna cut them off and use them as shorts, so I'm really excited to do that. Um, I've done that with quite a few pairs of things, but it's kind of sad because they are cute as capris, but I just feel like they'll be even cuter as shorts. And then the next thing, oh, this is what I'm talking, uh, this is where that weight tangent will come in. Um, I got a tube top and I have never owned a tube top. I'm probably a little too old to be wearing a tube top, but at the same time, I'm like, I never really allowed myself to do it when I was at the proper age because I was not like comfortable with my body enough. So now I feel like I should sew it off. And so it's just black. I did also try on a white tube top um, whenever I was trying stuff on, but it wasn't, white is just not ever as flattering as black. So this is really gorgeous and it's from No Boundaries. I don't remember. I know it's like a cheap brand. I don't really know where. It might be Walmart. I'm not sure. But it was $5.49. So that would be about $2.75. And I thought, hey, if it, even if I wear it like... Because I thought my my intention with this was to wear it out to the bars. Um, like, because I'm... This is my senior year of college. But now that uh, coronavirus, whatever, um, has come, I might not really be able to. But I figured there will be some occasion where I can wear it and I really hope there is because that would be a waste but also it was like two bucks so not mad about it oh my aunt's cooking it smells so good okay this one I was really excited about I saw I actually went and um scoped out the well I wasn't even I didn't even know about the sale the only reason I knew about it is because I had gone the previous day because I was just in town around that area and I just like decided to stop in because I always like like to take a look and they have this like board at the front that tells you about the sales and it was like tomorrow is our sale and I was like okay I'll just like not buy anything today and then come back tomorrow but I, I scoped it out that earlier day and I saw this and I was like oh I hope someone doesn't get this before me this is a tank top and it is pretty large but it's only a medium but it's like very loose fitting but I thought it's okay I do have like a lacy bralette um red like this color red that I can wear with it and it's from Shein I hear all these like I watch a lot of um youtubers that are from like Europe I guess and uh, they always talk about this brand and we don't I'm sure like a lot of Americans like have it but I personally like I'm from the south and it's not really a big brand here if at all so it was just really excited to find something from them and this was $6.50 um, but I got it for $3.25 and I feel like that's a excellent deal I think this will even look good with jeans not only shorts um so I'm super excited to wear this um this is another one of those like going out kind of tops I don't know I don't I wouldn't really feel comfortable like going to Walmart in this um but I do think it's like fun or even just like for a dinner or a night out or maybe for a date it would be a rather um it wouldn't it couldn't be a first day it would have to be like if you actually like knew them pretty well uh, because it'll show a lot of boob but honestly whenever I go out out I don't care if I show a lot of boob because I'm drunk and I don't care and I'm just like I don't care whatever but this is another thing I got it's a um, black tank top it's from ambience apparel I've never heard of that sounds like a lingerie brand but it's not it's just well it might be I don't know it's just a black plain tank top and then the back has this cool detailing down this down the end this does look like kind of like okay when I first look this looks like that kind of stuff like you would wear in like junior high um like because of that but at the same time like I tried it on and it was really cute and I was like no one's gonna judge me for having a black tank top like that's the most basic thing you can wear you know so I just got it um because I do have uh black tank tops but they're like you know like under they're kind of like meant to be like undershirts or just like tight fitting and this one's really loose and flowing and I do um, dance a lot so I thought this would be fun to dance in because it'll like twirl with me and this one was $2.99 so I got it for $1.50 um next thing is just a simple um, brown old navy tank top this one was $1.50 um, I don't I haven't really been saying sizes I guess it doesn't really matter this is a medium though I feel like the majority of the tops I got are in a medium because I typically can't wear a small um, but yeah and then a large sometimes swamps me a little so medium is a good size but um, sometimes like things just run weird size wise so I, I, I still do look through the small and the large racks um, just in case because you never know you can find some gems um, 
but yeah, I just thought this was really basic and it would be really cute with jean shorts or um, if I wanted to be a little, show off my body a little bit, I could wear it with leggings, I guess. Um, just whatever, I think it's very versatile or just under a shirt, you know? So I'm pretty happy with that. And if y'all haven't no noticed, based on my last um, thrift haul, I really do enjoy purple because apparently purple is across from yellow on the color wheel and it looks the best with blondes and I have blue eyes so I just feel like it complements me and my skin tone and everything else. So purple, it's just an old navy. A lot of the stuff I got is from, it's an old navy brand. I did get it at a thrift store but this is a medium old navy top and I just thought this, I, I, I do have other tops like this in other colors but I wear those so much that I just knew that this would be a good investment and I'll be excited to wear it. And like I said, I um, a lot of things I currently wear are um, left over from junior high and high school, and I am a grown woman now. And um, they some of those things do still fit, but I'm just like over it because I've been wearing them for the last mm, eight years. So I'm just over it. So the next thing I got was um, this sweater um, cardigan. I don't really know how to describe it. This is like a new trend. If you're not young, you probably don't know the trend, but... Um, I feel like this is probably honestly too young for me. Like, I feel like this is kind of like a high school thing. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to do it because I just did it. It was like really cheap. Okay, so it was $6.49 originally, so it would be $3.25 for me. And it's just like a button up. And then the way you're supposed to wear this is, um, you leave like only the top two buttoned and then the bottom like three are unbuttoned so it shows your stomach. I'm going to back up so you can kind of see what it might look like. And so this is like out and you can kind of see your like belly button. Bleh, bleh, sexy. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a high school thing. But I just, I wanted to try it. You never know. I think it would be fun for the right occasion. My little dog's here. She needs attention. Okay, next thing I got is from White Stag. This one is an, a large. Um, this one was $4.49, so it would have been $2.25. And it's just a plain um, cream shirt and I am all about neutrals and I did feel like this um didn't actually wash me out um I got a similar shirt uh and a long sleeve version um in my last thrift haul and I've been wearing it a lot so I thought it would be nice to have like a short sleeve version of it so I could wear it in the summer and then I think it'll look really good once I have a tan um if we're allowed to go outside because of this virus um hopefully um, I'll have a tan and it'll look really nice with the tan and I just think it'll look good. This one does have a rounded neck. The other ones, I prefer V-neck, um, but it was still really cute and I think it'll look great with jean shorts. And then I, I kind of planned on like pulling the top up and tucking it into the jean shorts just to give it a little bit more shape. So yeah, I haven't been counting. I think there's 19 items total, but. So the next thing is similar. Um, this one's from Amanda Smith, and this one is, um, it was $6.49, so it's $3.25. And then, like I said, I really like purple, purple, pink, pink. My favorite color is blue, but I can't wear a lot of blue just because um, majority, like, you're wearing blue jeans or, you know, so, like, blue on blue is not a vibe for me, at least. And I also have blue eyes, so if I do blue eyes, shirt, and pants, it's just a little blue overload. So my second favorite color, I would say, is pink. And so I think things that lean pink and purple are perfect because um, purple, like I said, is the best for blondes. So I think that's super cute. And it's like a little, it's, I think this is, might be a petite. Um, well, it doesn't say petite, but it does feel like a petite because it's like cut a little bit shorter. And I think that's really nice. I think that'll look really great um, with, and then just imagine this with like a cute necklace and jean shorts. I'm so excited. Like that's honestly like one of the reasons I wanted to do a try on haul because I was like, oh, I can style it so you can get the vibe. And I'm like, Sarah, they probably don't care about the vibe. They probably can envision it themselves. So that's why I decided not to. But um, next thing I got another Old Navy v-neck and just how I went on that tangent about blue 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 but I felt like um this blue is a different enough blue like I wouldn't wear these with light wash jeans but if I wore these with like either black 
um, jeans or very dark blue denim. I would think it would look okay. I think they look better with black or white. And I do have white shorts that I thought this would look good with. And so I just like, it, I couldn't pass it up because this is like really so soft. And uh, obviously you can't feel it through the camera, but I don't know. I'm just really happy about it and feel like it's cute. And it is a little long. It's a medium, but like I said, like I'm planning on tucking in now that I'm not fat anymore. <laughs> I'm planning on tucking these in the front, the French tuck. If you watch, um, what's it called? Queer Eye. That's kind of the vibe, you know, just to like show off your figure. So that's kind of what I'm going for there. And then this one, I almost didn't get it because I was, you know, going a little crazy in there. But then I decided, like, I really liked it. And I, and if I ever am, like, questioning a brand or, like, I've never heard of the brand or whatever, I'll just Google it um, to see, like, what kind of quality it is. And I, I knew it felt high quality, but I like to just go ahead and do a little research just to help me make my decision to solidify it. Um, and so, because this was a more expensive shirt, um, the original thrift price was eleven fifty, and so I got it for, um, gosh, five seventy five, um, and it says from Green Dragon. It says eight, so oh no, it says small. But sorry, oh my gosh, this lighting. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Okay, we're better. We're back. We're back and better. Um, but yeah, it's just a pink um, linen top and I'm going to do the same thing with the tuck. I think this will look really good with like jeans or shorts and I got it. I just think it's so versatile, but it's thin enough. It is a very spring shirt. I don't have any shirts this color um, and I thought this was so unique. I love the button up. I, I don't typically go for this pocket, but I feel like it goes with like the linen vibe and like I don't know about y'all, but I feel like guys look really good when they're wearing, like, this style of shirt. Like, I just think it's so sexy. And so I'm like, maybe it'll look good on me, too. I don't know. I'm just, like, uh, putting off my vibes onto them, but whatever. Anyway, so what I was getting with is um, I looked up this brand, and apparently the shirts go for, I think they were, like, I don't know how much they normally go. I think it's like about $35 per shirt um, if you buy them new online or whatever. So I thought worst comes worst, if I don't get a lot of wear out of it, I can always like resell it and sell it for more than I bought it for four because I only like really spent like about $5. So I thought like, oh, and you can wear it long sleeve or um, I, I have it, I have it tucked now to where it's three quarter sleeves. And um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I think I actually will wear this. I don't think I'm gonna sell it. Um, by the way, I did film an entire video of, like, a haul of all my stuff I got at the Dealer's New Year's sale, but I also didn't ever post it because it felt pointless. Like, I just felt like it wasn't interesting, but I do feel like this is interesting, so hopefully it's fun to watch. I saved the best for last. This is a showstopper. This is, um, my future New Year's dress. Um, I will just stop talking about it and show you. So... Yeah, this is the vibe. This is a rose gold, very sequined. Um, I'll stand up so you can see how long it is. It's not too short to where it's like, you know, obnoxious. Like, I feel like everyone's got to have their whole New Year's dress. And um, just this is mine. But it's like a classy hoe, you know? Like, you got some cleavage, but, but you're not showing too much booty and it's just really gorgeous and it's from the vintage shop i did not google this brand so i don't know i'm guessing it's a nice brand because it's it looks like it's made really well and it looks very i don't know like it's gonna be good sad part is i can't wash this and i'm a little bit of a germaphobe so i am obviously like gonna be washing all these other clothes before i wear them um but this one i'm not gonna wash so that's kind of sad but I feel like if I'm only going to be wearing it once a year. Or, you know, I could also wear this, honestly, I'd wear this for my birthday. I feel like birthday or New Year's. Like, this is when you need a lot of attention. You don't wear this on a normal day. Hold on, this sequence caught. I want to make sure it doesn't get messed up. Ah, uh, it's stuck. Ah, uh, I'm scared. I don't want to hurt it. Okay. Anyway, 
Yeah, but it doesn't have a, oh, it, it does have a zipper on the side, but when I tried it on the store, I just, like, pulled it over my head, and I didn't have a problem with it. It is a little bit loose on me, uh, but that's okay, because if I gain weight back, it'll fit. But, anyway, that's the last item. Um, if you're interested, I, um, have my receipt here. The total of all 19 items after the sale was, um, $61.31, um, and so, or actually not 61, yeah, let me see, yeah, well, after tax, it ended up being 67.29, but the total, like, before tax was 61.31, so it's about $120 worth of thrift priced clothes, so it's $120 worth of thrift priced clothes right here, and then if you consider the full value of all of this, I would consider probably um, closer to 500 if you were to buy these things new. Um, I don't know if that's extreme or not, but I kind of think it's not because I got a lot of good brands and they're like brand new. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even do that math, but that's just kind of a rough estimate. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun um, shopping and I have, ow, oh, oh, I just hit my hand. Oh. It's still pink. It's burning. Um, but yeah, I had fun and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know if you like these kind of videos. Um, please leave a comment down below. I will link my other uh, thrift haul video below. Let me know if I should post that uh, New Year's video because I have not posted it. But I have a feeling I'm not because I feel like it's like over. Like it's March. It's too late now. But yeah, if I do do more of these in the future, I will probably video them. I just don't go shopping that often. So yeah, subscribe to me if you want. Um, I normally do makeup videos, but this I do other things. I do hair, makeup. Uh, I did one mukbang. I'm just kind of branching out, you know, whatever I feel like. Uh, I don't have, like, a certain genre, but I will say it's, like, pretty makeup heavy. So, anyway, I know I've been rambling, but I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what your favorite item was. And God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.